Hello, everyone. Mike here from Mike's Helping Hand. As always, please like and subscribe if you like the channel. And if you have any questions about any of these frameworks that I'm showing you, leave a comment down below. All right, let's get started with the framework. So the framework we're using today is Webflow. Now we're also going to do a, a connector site today and we'll do one with WordPress in probably the next video. So let's head on over and see what it looks like. All right, so as you can see, everything is a little bit animated. Well, not everything, uh, just the icons and the buttons. And if we head on over to contribute, same navigation and same icons. And this one lights up a little bit different. And then this is a little bit different from Framer. So this, you can switch back and forth. And I've also made the colors change also when you hover over it. And then these light up blue. And you can do as many pages as you want, but it would look uh, a little bit strange after a while, unless you know how to code, then you could do um, an arrow and an arrow to only have like three different pages. But if I make it smaller, you can see exactly what I'm, well, let's see. Can I do, no, I can't because it's not on the, Okay, we'll bring it down to here and we'll do right here. So as you can see, it's three now instead of the usual two. And it would get even bigger and bigger and bigger uh, the more pages you have. So you could probably do a row right here, a row right here, and then have a couple of different buttons, kind of like Amazon. So, but with Webflow, you can only do two pages on the free, uh, the free package. <laughs> uh, if you have the secondary package, you can have up to 150 pages, but you can look at the pricing and see if that's what you want or not. So, but now that that's taken care of and you've seen that let's bring this over here and let's start a new project all right so when you sign in it will ask you uh, a couple of different questions like uh is this for a business or is this for yourself or uh, um is this for a client uh, and you'll just have to pick which is the best for you. And then it will ask you if you want to hire somebody or if you want to do it yourself. Uh, you can hire somebody if you want, but with the free version, it's pretty basic and simple. So there's really no point. If it was a bigger website, then yes, I would probably hire someone to help you out because there's a lot of different things you can do, especially with coding. So... Anyways, let's get started and create a new site. As you guessed it, it says new site right here. So we're going to click on this. And then we will do blank site. You can do template if you want, but I usually start with the blank site because there's also templates on the left-hand side. And I'll show you that in just a second. This is only if I'm in a rush and I don't feel like putting everything down and I just switch different things. So, but I'm not in a rush on this video. So, we'll 
do mics. Helping and and then create site. And it will take a second to load. Hopefully not too long. There we go. All right, so this is what a blank website looks on Webflow. Kind of similar to Framer, except a little bit different. So over here is all the stuff you need. Uh, this is more of the styling section over here, but basically to create any components or like if you want to create an image or uh, a video or form or whatever, uh, it's going to be over here. So if you click on the plus button, you'll see all the elements and you're going to use probably half of these within your website, depending on what the site is. Uh, the other half it really doesn't come that much in handy that I have ever used. So, but you never know, depending on what your website is. So now the layouts I also use because it has a bunch of stuff in the starter library. So there's a lot of different nav bars, uh, different body sections, and they're called heroes, the team section. So you can put whoever is in your company on the team section, uh, logos. So if there's any sponsors that you have, that's the logo section, or you can create your own section for that. The gallery, if you have like a portfolio or, um, a camera site that you need, or even a construction site. So that comes in handy. And then features, kind of like asked questions, pricing. So you can have subscriptions. or just a one-time fee if you want. Testimonies, just people. You could either do fake testimonies or you could do real people testimonies. But if you're just starting, um, you're probably not gonna have that many testimonies. So you might have to do some real testimonies and then some fake testimonies. And then your footer, which is also a nav bar. So we're going to come up to here and grab our first nav bar. And I'm going to use this one. And we're going to drop it on in there. All right. Now, since I don't need all of these, I'm going to delete some of them. So let's start by deleting this one. And then we can delete this one. And we can delete this one. Because I only need two and a logo. All right, so this one we can make home. And this one we can make contribute. And we will make this into a component. That way we can bring it over to the next page. And I will show you that in just a second. So yes, there are components in here just like there are in Framer.
Is that darker? Let's see. Oh, it's probably a different. Ah, that's okay. Let's delete this one. Uh, duplicate that one. And we'll bring that one over here. There we go. Now they look the same. All right, good to go. And to get our logo, we need to come to images and we'll upload our images. And this is going to take a second because it's a quite a bit of a quite quite a bit of images. Now, if I had more than this, then I would put them in folders and make it a little bit neater. But I don't have that many images, so I'm not even going to worry about folders. But basically, to make a folder, you just click on this and then name the folder and then put all your images in to that folder that connects with that. So like nav bar would be logo and then the title of the body would be these and these and so on and so on. So, and I need to add one more image. Oh no, I don't want to do that. Wrong one. There we go. Me, I need to do a better picture than that. Later though. All right. Uh. Go back into here and go to company logo and we will change that picture. There it is. Ah, couldn't find it. And that is really, really big. So we are going to change this to 50, I think. Yeah, 50. There we go. All right. There we go. And then we'll change this to 100. Uh, pixels percent. And then we'll change this to one hundred percent. There we go. That way, if we go smaller, well, it'll just be those. But if it's a bigger screen than this, it will basically go out a little bit further and it won't get stuck. All right, now let's add the next thing. And we're gonna need a section for this because it's not in the layouts. So we'll take a section and bring it on over. Do a percent with 100 and a percent with 100. That's good to go. All right. And now like this 600. 
So it's down to here. And then we need to add a container. And we need to do the same exact thing with the container. So make that 100. And make that 600. And this 100 also. There we go. All right, now we need to add the background. So we'll go down to image and gradient, and we will add an image. And you can add a gradient if you want to, but this is what I'm adding. And we can change where it is, like the position. So right now it's got both hands. Well, right now it's on custom. We need cover. Because as you can see, there's another hand right here. So you can actually change the position and make it just more of the keyboard. Or you can make it more of the hand. And I'm going to leave it right here so we can see the hand. And then we'll, well, we let's see the gradient also. So the gradient, you can choose different colors. And you can choose if it's a circle gradient or just regular color. And there's uh, quite a few things you can do with this uh, also animation wise, but we'll do that in another video. Right now, I'm just gonna stick with this and I gotta add, or no, I don't. Do I? Yeah. Yes, I do. Okay. It tricked me. <laughs> All right, cover. And there, and it's good to go. All right, so now we need to add another container and also make this a stack. So there's stack and then there's, or no, horizontal is row. And then that is, or no, is this, good God. I haven't done horizontal and vertical in a while. I'm pretty sure, well, we'll find out in a second. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Okay. So let's add a container. All right. Okay, so yes, that is up and down. And this is left and right. All right, so we need up and down, and then we need to center it. And center right there also. All right. Now we need to make this a little bit bigger. And also make it horizontal. and justify in center and justify in center because everything is going to be in the center on this. And this will make it 300. Uh, by... 600 maybe? 
No, 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 no. That's way too much. I think it's three hundred. That one, I think. Let's see. Ah, five hundred. If I remember correctly, no. What? No, oh, because I didn't change this. Five hundred, or maybe that's six hundred. There we go. Ooh. No. There we go. That's fine. Okay. So now we need text and we also need the icons. So let's go to our little plus sign and go down to heading. There we go, which framework. And I think we can make that a little bit smaller. There we go, all right. We also need to change the color. So go into here and change that to white. All right, now we need a text. So we'll bring the text in. Okay, so vertical is up and down. Jeez. And horizontal is left and right. <laughs> Glad to clear that up. All right. Let's move that on top. There we go. Make this white. All right. Now we need another container. And we need to make this a stack because we're going to have two things in it. And then we're going to duplicate it about five times. So take this container. All right, so now we need an image and we need a text. I'll go ahead and add the text. And it doesn't really matter which order you put it in. Because you can always change it. And then we'll go down to text or image. We already got the text. Grab that and put that above Canva. All right. Actually, that needs to go in a container also.
because I need a row. Come on. There we go. All right. So now we can duplicate this by pressing Control and D, just like in Framer. Oh, no. There we go. And we'll do some spacing. So about 20 should do. And then we'll duplicate those. There we go. We can make this black. and somewhat see-through. And we can add a circular uh, we can make the corners circular. There we go. <laughs> All right. So now we need to change all these, but first I'm going to put another container up here that needs to be vertical there we go so vertical up and down Horizontal left and right. All right. Terrible, but that's okay. <laughs> Not a problem. All right. This we need to make horizontal. At the middle. There we go. And then we'll add. an image. There we go. That's good on that. Duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. There we go. And we'll be making this a component too because we need to use it at least three times. And the reason why I say three is because we're going to create with the second one uh, a footer and we're going to put it inside the footer and then the footer will be a component and then we can just duplicate the, the footer instead of the whole component for the nav, for the social nav. So, all right, now let's add some spacing to this. There we go. Change these to what they need to be. All right, and then let's change these to what they need to be. Uh, let's see, Google Sites for that one. Double click. 
Kramer. Webflow. <laughs> And WordPress. Awesome. <laughs> and now we just need to change the words. So control A to select all and then control sites. Raymer. Webflow. And that did not go for some reason. Not sure why. <laughs> there we go. All right. So now that, that part is done, let's go ahead and do, let's see, we need to wrap this in a link block along with these. So curl to alt A, curl alt A. Curl all A. There we go. And now let's go ahead and open the links up. So to do a link, you'll go to settings and then go down here to add the link and open it up in a new browser or in a new tab, not browser. Browser would be Google or Internet Explorer. So open up in a new tab. Oh, no, that was the wrong one. Need Twitter for that one. And make sure you have the right link in the right spot because that would have been bad if I had put that in there. So Facebook. And to get to another block, see how it lights up orange for container and then link and then image. So we want to click on that one to get to the link part. And then that is right there. Copy and paste that. Open in a new tab, click on that one, click on here, link. All right, so now we're gonna go into the container part and right click and create component. So shift control A, if you wanna do shortcuts. And we're gonna name this social apps. All right. So now if we go into the component box, we have social navs. And we can add links to these real quick. <laughs> the page com or link and we'll do home 
And then we need to add a page. So we'll go into here and we'll go to add page and name it. Contribute and then hit create. So we don't need this one yet. So we'll go to the home one. And now we can add it on contribute. So now those are connected. And just in case, I will, or no, let's make this, let's see. All right, so this will make into a component. Make sure you're picking the top one. Uh, top nav. Top nav bar, there we go. Create. And then we'll go into page two just in case we click on page two. We'll bring that in. Now, anytime you update this, it will change on the other pages, which is kind of nice. So if I put like another link on it, it will change on every other page. That's what components are good for. So you don't have to redo it every single time. So it comes in handy. And it's not very time consuming. So let's go back to home page. And we will add a layout. So I'm going to choose this layout and I'm going to grab it and bring it down here. There we go. Now I'm going to double click to change the image. And I'm going to pick my image. Welcome. And I'm just going to copy that in so I don't have to write the whole thing again. There we go. And as always, bring this to contribute. And that's good to go. All right, now I am going to add a section because I don't like any of those footers down there. And make that 100%. 500. <laughs> there we go. And then I'm going to need a row and then a stack. So we'll bring in the first one and make that into 100% as well.
and then like that. There we go, and then I need two of these. I gotta change my seat a little bit. There we go. And then do 50 50. So percent. 50 cent 50 and then 500 and do the same with that one Right. Uh, now we need to do, let's see, another contain. no, not another container. Well, yeah, because I want the stuff to be on the inside, so probably didn't need to be a row. No. All right, there we go. And then duplicate and bring that one over here. And do the same thing with that. All right, so now these need to be a stack. Just buy it in the middle. Oh, actually, no, not need to start. Okay, now we need to add a picture. Okay. Logo. That is way too big. Let me do 50 for right now. Let's go on top. Change that. And then we will add our component. Right here. There we go. And I can make this a little bit bigger. Yep, just like that. There we go. And then that also needs a background. I 
and you'll see why in just a minute. Actually, let's 100, there we go. And that needs to be white. So we'll go to typography and do white. Uh, you're probably thinking, I can't see it. Why make it white? Because I'm changing this to black. <laughs> That's why. Now you can see it. All right. Uh, now we need to do the same on this side. And we'll fix the gapping and all that on this. But now we only have to make this section a component. So basically click on the section, make it a component, and then we can add that to the next page and not have to worry about doing another one of these components. And that's why I said we only need three instead of four. All right, so now we need to add three text blocks, place them in here. <laughs> now you can also change the color very easily. If you want the same color, you can make a component with a color by clicking here and then doing a variable with a color instead and just name the variable whatever color you want but for right now it's a small website and we don't really need variables for colors because it's only a couple of different links and words and that's it so it's easy just to do the picking color thing but if it were maybe a hundred different words that you were dealing with, you wouldn't want to choose the exact thing every time and do copy and paste, copy and paste, copy and paste. It would just be easier just to make a variable and then choose that variable and that's it. But for this, not needed. So let's select all. Pages. I don't know why that didn't. There we go. All right. Now we need to copy that. Duplicate, duplicate. There we go. Awesome. And then we need a container to make a line. Did it go on or not? What's going on here? Oh, no, it didn't go on. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, let's try this again. There we go. Sometimes that is very aggravating. Okay. Now let's change this to white. A height of one. Yay. All right. Now let's change the names of these. There we go. That there we go. Tribute. So because I duplicated it, 
they all took on the center value. Now, if I were to delete that container right here, they would not all take on the center value. But if you duplicate a container, like something with uh, one of these values on it up here, where it says container nine, like all of these are container four. So text block container or text block four, it's kind of like another, um, what is it called? Good God, I literally, component, there we go. That's the word I was thinking of. Okay, it's kind of like another component. <laughs> You're, you're creating a component and it's basically changing everything at the same time because you duplicated it. If you don't want it on there, all you gotta do is remove the class. That's the word I was thinking of class, not component. So if you're creating a class, then it basically does the same thing for each one. And if you don't want it on there, you just remove it. Or if you want, it on there and then to change one you would duplicate class and then rename and it would take on the same attributes as the last one but then you're just changing the new one and then it doesn't mess with the others so good to know in the future all right so now we're going to work on the second page but first I need to make this into a component and I will, well, no, I'll fix it right now and then I'll make it to a component. Probably easier that way anyways. All right, so this needs some gap spacing. So let's go with 20. Yeah, that works. All right, and then let's see. That needs a little bit of spacing also. So we'll make this three hundred. That doesn't need to be so big. Three hundred by two hundred. Oh, you know, not two thousand. Jeez. By 200, and then we can put that in the middle. And where did my little box go? What's going on here? Ah, okay. That's why. Let's see. 70 per, ah, you jerk. 70. Seventy. Good to go. Uh actually let's make that a little bit smaller. Uh fifty. Nope. Fifty. Yeah, that works. All right. So now we need gapping. As always, 20. Uh, yeah. Except I don't want it with that one. Hmm. Okay. Instead of gapping, we'll do this one, hold on, why did that not? Zero, okay. Now we'll do padding. Twenty. All right, there we go. That's good.
All right. Now we need a hover. So we're going to create a hover and do blue. There we go. As you can see, it adds it to all of them and we don't want it on all of them. So we're gonna have to Take that off. And now, as you can see, it doesn't do it. But that one, can't tell if that's, all right, let's play this real quick. Okay, no, that one's not changing. That one is, that one is awesome. So now we just need to do hover effect on these and that is good to go and that needs some spacing because that's way too close and then we need to create the boxes for those and yep that's good to go so 20 that looks good all right, so now let's add the hover effect by going all the way down and doing filter. And we'll do purple. There we go. That's how you change the color on those. That looks fine. And you can play around with these and figure out which one you want. There's a lot of cool effects you can do. But for right now, I'm just going to do hue. And we gotta change that to green so it's something different. And we'll do pink. And that is good to go. All right. So now, we'll click out of that, and I uh, did it on the wrong one. Oh my goodness! <laughs> it's not. Ay ay ay! I was supposed to do it on hover, so let's delete that. Do hover. <laughs> ay ay ay! This is why you need to pay attention to what you're doing. All right. So pink. <laughs> That's funny. OK, now it's changing color. Green for that. Sometimes you will make a mistake. It's bound to happen. You just redo it. Q 
278. All right. Make sure it's on the right one. And it's good to go. All right. Now that we're not in that anymore, and if we check down here, it does the same thing. So you do it once on your component, and it changes all. Good to go. All right. We'll do that in a second. But we're also going to change this. Right. That do a hover. Change the color of that. There we go. All right. Uh-huh. Now that's good to go. Now, when we hover, it will do that. All right. Now, if we go to the other page, it will do the same exact thing. But let's do these real quick. Since we're here. All right. So... Let's see. Uh, we'll do frame. Why not? Frame for short. Enter for create. So frame, frame one, frame two. And then it's good to go. We hover it. And we'll change it to U. All right. So I'm just going to do these really fast. <laughs> Frame. That is basically the same thing. It doesn't really matter. So we can just do the same class. On each one. <laughs> and it makes it very quickly. And if we want, we can do a hover effect on these also, but I'm not going to worry about that, but we do need to add, do I have, no, I don't have a link on these. 
So we need to wrap this with a link lock. So curl alt A. Go to settings. Browser. Alt A. Alt A. Browser. Alt A. And WordPress. And you can add links to the words as well if you want to, but I'm just going to do it on these to make this video a little bit faster. All right, so now let's go to contribute. And as you can see, contribute changed. So now we need the same thing right here that we did in the other section. So we need a section. And as always, make it 100%. <laughs> and then 600. All right, now add container. <laughs> ah, no. There we go. And 600. There we go. All right. Now need to add the image. No, not that image. <laughs> put it in the middle so the PayPal is showing and then we have let's see We need the social navs first. <laughs> that is very tall. There we go. Put those in the middle. And then we need help out. So we need a heading tag. That underneath. Oh, no, <laughs> wrong one. Typography. There we go.
help out. And then let's see. We need a button. There we go. And then we are going to change that background to black. Typography to white. And then the border to white. There we go. All right. Now the hover, we will do that stage that color that will turn to white typography will turn to black and then how did I do that oh no it was this is black and that is blue needs to be a lighter blue there we go and then box shadow zero and Three. Oh, yeah. Three. That all the way up, and that's good to go. All right. Awesome. Now we need to add the product and we want to do layouts go down where's that now maybe it's up ah here we go all right channel like that blue there we go
slide through the link. We'll add the images. That's it. Laptop. Speakers. Make that black. All right, and then we'll do hover. With zoom. All right. So now, when you hover over it, it will turn blue. And that we can change blue also. <laughs> Which will also change the colors of these because it's kind of like uh, a component. It's one component and then they all basically change to that color. Well, class kind of. All right. Why is that not, what's going on here? Why can I not? I have no idea why I couldn't click on it. That was weird. If you ever can't click on it, just click on it over here and it will click. That was very strange. There we go. All right, so now duplicate this, bring it on over here.
and the same thing right here. And then we go in here and delete. So it deletes the whole thing a little bit faster. And then we'll do this with a hover. And again, you only have to change this once on here because it will change them all. So, see, changes all of them. It's good to go. All right. <laughs> so now we need to go over here. There we go. So what I did was clicked on this, and then I clicked settings over here to get to the image on this one. All right, so now let's change these images. There it is. I'm gonna say, where did I put the USB one? <laughs> but that's okay. All right. So now I just need to change the name. SB. There we go. All right. Uh, keyboard. But out. And microphone. All right. There we go. And last one. Hopefully it doesn't give me any problems. There we go. All right, now we just need to add the other. Where's that? There we go. Duplicate. Bring that down. No. Oh, my goodness. That's one more time. Duplicate.
All right, that's not going to work. So basically I have to, let's see, I do it that way. Bring this. No, that's not going to work either. Okay. So I'll just have to do button two. That's fine. Not an issue. Take that out. Come on. But two. Right. Now it's got the same class. Awesome. <laughs> Good stuff. Delete. Okay, bring it on over here. Okay, bring it on over. All right. Delete that. Delete that. And should be. Oh, no, that is all of them. Okay, awesome. All right, so those are good to go. And you can add links to those also. But since I've already showed you how to do links, I'm not going to put the links <laughs> for these. All right, so now we need to add the navigator. So let's go into components. And I forgot to make that into a navigator. So let's go back to the other page. Okay, so section two, create component, footer, nav, create, there we go. Now we're basically done. Now, bring it on down. Why is it not going down? There we go. Yay. Now we got the footer nav. We don't have to do anything because it's good. All right. That's about it. Now to publish, you just come over here. Hit publish. There's your free uh, domain name. So webflow.io with this little number right here. And then all you have to do is publish. So I'll publish it real quick. It's only going to take a couple seconds. And it's published. All right. So now to see your web page, just basically copy all of this. Don't do it with www. Mike's helping hand. It needs to be exactly like this, or else it will throw up a four o four error. Uh, basically, this it'll throw up this page error right here. So basically, it'll say page not found, 404, in the browser. 
if you add www dot Mike's helping hand or whatever your name is. So if you're getting that error, take off the www because it doesn't need it. Only do Mike's helping hand. So only do Mike's helping hand, this whole thing right here. So if you're gonna publish it like on your website, now you can see it's doing the 404 error. So we're gonna take that off and just do that. And now it's on there. So no, no HTTPS, no www, just exactly how it's written like this and then hit enter. And on your social media, you put this link only, no HTTP, blah, 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 blah. Now, if I know some social media sites need HTTP, um, like OnlyFans and um, I think, can't remember if YouTube do, needs it or not, but if you're going to do HTTP, you need to buy a domain name and then do it. But you could do, no, YouTube, you don't need it. So uh, only OnlyFans and um, another adult site uh, need it, like for social links. So if you need an HTTP with that, you're going to be kind of screwed. And so you need to buy a domain name. But for Webflow, it's just this. So keynote, write that down. <laughs> Don't put HTTP or www on this. It will throw up the 404 error. So that's some troubleshooting for you right there. All right. So this video is all done. You now have your connection site with Webflow. I will see you guys and girls in the next video. Have a wonderful day. Again, like and subscribe if you like my content and leave a comment down below on what you guys want to see and girls want to see. See you all later. Bye-bye.